And hear them roar, a massive boost for women's footy. Live from our Melbourne headquarters, this is 7 News with Jennifer Kite. Women's AFL looks here to stay with last night's exhibition match drawing a record television audience. More than 400,000 people in Melbourne alone tuned in to welcome an exciting new era in Australian sport. Get the victory. It was a win for the Western Bulldogs, but an even greater victory for women's football. On the big stage, under the bright lights of the Whitten Oval, the women turned it on. Shoots and goals! It was a taste last night of, of what's to come and, and how exciting it is. On primetime TV, it was a record breaker, averaging more than 700,000 nationwide. To rate as it did last night in just a one-off sample, I think it, it set us up really well for next year. There were long bombs from outside 50. It clears the contest and it bounces through. Stunning Gets snaps to Vessio. and plenty of courage. There's a player down and she, she looks in a bad way at the moment. But live wire forward Moana Hope stole the show. Hope with on the angle, kicks the goal and celebrates accordingly. It was a goal from the boundary, so you have to celebrate like that. Here's Hope again. McIntosh went to ground, lines them up and bounces it through. Hope, who will play for Collingwood next year, was best on ground, kicking six majors. But she was still a long way off her goal-kicking record. This year I kicked 16, but the most is 17, yeah. She's going to cause headaches, isn't she? After the impressive TV ratings for the Women's All-Stars game and Friday night's EJ Witten Legends match, the AFL is declaring the controversial bye weekend a great success. It couldn't have gone better to, so far. Stay tuned for next year, it's going to be a ripper. Sean Sowby, 7 News. There were plenty of eager viewers watching the women's AFL last night. More than 700,000 fans across the country tuned in to watch the Western Bulldogs beat Melbourne in an exhibition game at Witten Oval. It was the highest rating Saturday night match of the season and it's added more fuel to the pay debate ahead of next year's inaugural National Women's League. It was a night when women's footy joyfully owned the spotlight like never before. It was an amazing feeling to have, you know, all the supporters there and, you know, pulling on an AFL jersey and, and you know, representing women's football. Mo Hope is still coming to terms with last night's match. Her six-goal haul helped the Bulldogs beat the Demons by 39 points. Kicks the goal and celebrates accordingly. With the men's competition taking a week off before finals, the women seize top billing. And bounces it through! More than 6,000 fans watched the game live, 700,000 tuned in on television. In Melbourne, the average audience of 387,000 was the biggest viewership for any Saturday night match this season. It's a great result, you know, not just for footy but for women's sport in general, and that's a, that's a landmark occasion for women's sport in Australia. It was the fourth exhibition match between the two sides and the last before the National Women's League kicks off next year. The success of the game has put further pressure on the AFL, which is still negotiating a pay deal for players. Its initial offer of $5,000 a season for the majority of them was rejected by the players' union last week. We haven't settled on the salaries yet. I guess we've um, had discussions about what we think they should be. And we're confident we've benchmarked that for a start-up competition. Personally, I'm, I'm just blessed to pull on an AFL jersey. For me, the, you know, the pay is exciting, but right now I'm going to play AFL and there's generations of girls coming through that's going to be able to fulfil their, their dreams. The team of the mighty wins! And after last night's match, there might be a few more girls chasing that dream. Damien McIver, ABC News.